So Bitcoin crashed a little bit the other day, um, came down whew, almost $10,000, somewhere in that range. But now it's been recovering. So the good news is that it's recovering. Um, and the better news is that it crashed. Why is that good news? Because it afforded some of us, the people who weren't panicking, the opportunity to buy more Bitcoin at a cheaper price. In fact, $10,000 cheaper, uh, which is exactly what we did. But my portfolio, when I look at it, I try to balance out. I have dominant, a dominance of Bitcoin, but the reason I have a dominance of Bitcoin is because it's so expensive. Why is Bitcoin so expensive? Well, because a lot of people have gotten into Bitcoin now and the value of it just continues to rise. We're going to see it continue to rise. In fact, some people are saying 100000 Some people are targeting $250,000 by the end of the year. I'm one of those that believes $100,000 is possible before the end of the year, maybe even sometime this summer. So I'm holding my Bitcoin, but I want to talk about why we don't want to necessarily have a predominance of Bitcoin in our portfolio. The reason why is because it is so expensive. If you notice, Bitcoin is the leader of the pack. What Bitcoin does is what the rest of them generally follow. Now, there are some outliers to that, so you have to know which ones are the outliers, and we can't always predict which ones are the outliers. But in general, Bitcoin goes up, Bitcoin Cash goes up, Ethereum goes up, Bitcoin goes down, those two generally go down with it, and a whole bunch of other ones. Um, so the interesting part about buying or having a diverse portfolio in cryptocurrency is the fact that I can afford more. So Ethereum, for example, uh, just remembered not too long ago, I was buying it for well under $200 for Ethereum. Today, it's over $2,000. Hmm, not too long ago, today over $2,000. That's a 10x increase in price. Now granted, that happened as Bitcoin went from 10,000 to 50,000, which is a 5x increase in price. Um, the interesting thing about Ethereum is that I can own almost 20 to 30 Ethereum for every Bitcoin that's out there or that I could own. So in looking at just the sheer economics of it, I might want to consider owning Ethereum or things like Bitcoin Cash in my portfolio because I can afford a lot more of them. Granted, they've become a lot more expensive, but if you believe, as I do, that the market is going to continue to trend upward, then this is a good thing. You're going to get more for your money. And in some cases, you'll see some of these go up faster, rise faster than Bitcoin. Same is true when they fall. So they can fall harder, they can fall faster. But it's all kind of subjective at this point. We don't really know which one is doing what. All we know is that Bitcoin tends to lead the pack. And if you believe Bitcoin's going up, you should have a range of other cryptocurrencies that are more affordable to you so you can actually get more gains from your portfolio. I mean, who in their right mind today wants to spend $60,000 for a Bitcoin? It is expensive. Um, I can own a fraction of a Bitcoin and then I have a fraction of a return. If I could take that fraction that I want to put in Bitcoin and I can put that fraction into Ethereum, for example, well, guess what? I'm going to have multiples of return because I can own multiple Ethereums, right? So if that goes up 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x, well, I'm going to have those multiple of returns as opposed to just that fraction of one Bitcoin, where if it does go up twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000, I'm going to see a little upside to that, but not the kind of upside I'm going to have if I have my money invested in something that has more potential.